they who can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety, deserve neither liberty nor safety. If all printers were determined not to print anything till they were sure it would offend nobody, there would be very little printed. Remember not only to say the right thing in the right place, but far more difficult still, to leave unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. Educate your children to self-control, to the habit of holding passion and prejudice and evil tendencies subject to an upright and reasoning will, and you have done much to abolish misery from their future and crimes from society. For the want of a nail the shoe was lost, for the want of a shoe the horse was lost, for the want of a horse the rider was lost, for the want of a rider the battle was lost, for the want of a battle the kingdom was lost, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. If you would not be forgotten, as soon as you are dead and rotten, either write things worth reading, or do things worth writing. Who is wise? He that learns from everyone. Who is powerful? He that governs his passions. Who is rich? He that is content. Who is that? Nobody. My refusing to eat flesh occasioned an inconveniency, and I was frequently chided for my singularity, but, with this lighter repast, I made the greater progress for greater clearness of head and quicker comprehension. Flesh-eating is unprovoked murder. The best thing to give to your enemy is forgiveness, to an opponent, tolerance, to a friend, your heart, to your child, a good example, to a father, deference, to your mother, conduct that will make her proud of you, to yourself, respect, to all others, charity. So convenient a thing to be a reasonable creature since it enables one to find or make a reason for everything one has a mind to do. Happiness consists more in the small conveniences of pleasures that occur every day, than in great pieces of good fortune that happen but seldom to a man in the course of his life. The way to wealth is as plain as the way to market. It depends chiefly on two words, industry and frugality, that is, waste neither time nor money, but make the best use of both. Without industry and frugality nothing will do, and with them everything. Sloth makes all things difficult, but industry all easy, and he that riseth late must trot all day, and shall scarce overtake his business at night, while laziness travels so slowly, that poverty soon overtakes him. Most people die at twenty-five and aren't buried until they're seventy-five.